Well hello guys and guys, I hope you're doing well. We're back once again for another video. This one is one I don't really want to make um, or feel that, that maybe I can add a huge amount to it, but it's something that I think I, I need to make. So before we kind of get any further, this is going to be a, a kind of message to you guys, the, the viewers, the players, and, and also a message to, to Scopely from my standpoint as a streamer, as an envoy, as, as a creator for you guys. So I guess the, the first thing for those of you that maybe haven't seen me before, I'm part of the Envoy program. I have been for, for well over a year now. So uh, I do have a, a line into them. Uh, but of course, there's limitations from, from both our side of the field and also from, of course, Scopely side of the field, which you would expect with any major, major organization. So this absolutely is not a video uh, in any way, shape or form talking about uh, anyone as an individual. It's more just about how the game is making me feel and, and how many of you guys speak to me on streams or drop me a message on discord or anything along those lines so i also want before we even continue to to say a, a thank you to Reminex and also to Torna, who I know have posted similar videos today. Both of those are going to be linked down in the description for you guys i urge that you you go and watch both of those videos as well so one of the things that i want to get out of this video is this isn't a typical i'm going to shout at you for doing something wrong but not add any uh, possible solutions. So one of the, the things that, that Remen has always lived by, and he's spoken to me about that before, is do not be the person causing the problem and jumping on the fire that is the problem. Be the person that is there to try and give solutions, even if those solutions are either far-fetched or they're just too difficult to achieve. Be that guy that offers a solution. And I urge you guys to do the same. There was an, an in-game um, review notification i think yesterday i did fill that in um, i did put my honest feedback to them as well and then it's down to the developers to read that response please be the type of person that can add some positivity and resolutions rather than be a person that is going in uh, with straight negativity so part of the reason for this video and i don't use reddit i think those of you that know me well enough know i don't use reddit but i wanted to highlight uh, there was a reddit post here uh, I'm, I'm assuming this is Alistair. Um, message to kind of content creators that I just wanted to to respond. He's been very respectful in his uh, in his post uh, and in his topic to the content creators, and certainly to Torna, who's who's made a kind of um, a follow up to that. So so thank you for kind of posting that. And as I say, that's part of the reason we're here today. So it's kind of the meat and two veg of the video is is about some of the issues that I'm seeing and potentially some of the solutions that I would give. So I want this to be an open forum. I want this to be a safe space. So please use the comments down below. What have I missed? There will be some that I haven't touched on just because I don't have a huge amount of um, either experience in it or it's never really happened to me. So one that springs to mind is is Arena. I'm not gonna talk about all of the bugs with the Arena, but I know there's an issue um, where a lot of you guys that get first place at reward renewal time can go any number right you can go down to 10 15 20 25 whatever so that's not something i'm going to personally touch on it's not something that i've ever had happen to me in a large sense so that's not something that i feel comfortable um touching on so number one i think it's the biggest issue for me personally it's the biggest issue for a lot of people is around bottlenecks in the game right now so if I show you, I don't know, if we just go on Ghost as just an example. So Ghost is a character that I'm training up at the moment, which is absolutely fine. I class myself as a very, very responsible resource user in the game. I haven't got characters. There's a couple out there, but there's not that many. I haven't built too many teams. For example, I didn't build up my Wakandans too high. So my resource management has been very, very strong. But if I look at one of these that requires purple gear, for example, this is what I've got left. Now, as a rule... Tech gear is not the number one thing that is used. Uh, you would assume bio is much higher um, demand, same with mutants. So the fact that I'm not even being able to, to farm enough of these is, is crazy. And I know this is a blockade with a lot of people, whether that be gold, whether that be uh, purple or even blue gear. I've struggled with blue gear as well, and I do continue to struggle, certainly with Pintep coming, uh, coming up. So that's kind of bottleneck number one. Number two for me personally, as you can see, see here, Training materials, I don't have enough training materials. I don't think many people have enough training materials, and I think that stems from um, beta players, day one release players, had a stronger, higher abundance of training materials to those of us that started a little bit later. This is the number one reason my roster can't progress. You know, we had a very honest conversation on my stream. I have a spending, I have a spending block on any new characters now um, because I don't see personally the point in spending 45 pounds on bishop who by the way and i'll show you here i i have a bishop or i would have bishop ready to go uh, and i have five stars on him 
So I have Bishop ready to go, but I'm, there's no point buying him. I can't level him. I, I could get him from level one all the way to level 28 and then I'm done. Um, and, and that's crazy. That That's insane to me. And I know a lot of you guys are uh, uh, feeling that too. So a couple of the other blocker, the blockages and bottlenecks I know a lot of you guys are talking about is kind of gold itself. Um, it, it's kind of about T2s, T3s, T4s, you know, gold gear, gear 15 pieces. There's, there's any number of, of blockade, uh, blockades and bottlenecks that you're suffering. So a couple of the solutions that, that I've had, and I know a couple of the other content creators have talked about, payday events, block party events, all of those key events that help these bottlenecks make them more regular. You know, why do we need such a break between the two? The payouts are great, but they're not groundbreaking, game-breaking amounts that you get from payday events. I think it's 1.8 million gold, I think, for the payday event. Well, with the Ember event, that, that's one day, one day of gold usage. You know, that's that's not really game breaking if you give us that little bit extra and it means that we can build our, our characters up and our tunes up uh, a little bit easier and there'll still be the same amount of people purchasing the offers that are out there i think another one for me which is, is closer to home is around the blitz setup so monday blitz the majority of us either don't really bother with the red stars or don't need premium orbs whatsoever so my suggestion which has kind of been well well received on stream alternate the monday raids the monday blitz sorry so keep premiums and red star but then the next week it's training and gold and then you go back to red and premium and then you go back to training and gold it's still those people who really need the gold will focus on the gold one and the people that need the training will focus on the training one but it gives one a bit of differentiation to the game and two it gives people ability to change their own team and their own account and build their account up and i think the number one other point that I would raise with this, and, and again, I've raised this on stream, these haven't changed since day one. We still only get, for example, for this tier, one green and two blue and 1,500 gold. These need to be updated and upgraded to what is viable nowadays. So from level 69 to 70, when, when these were released, you didn't need too many. But from 79 to 80... You need, I think they worked out it's about 6,000 green to get one level, to get that final level on one character. And that's that's the problem with me with these bottlenecks. So there's some really easy key fixes that I think could come out, and I think that they would really, really help. So that's kind of number one for, for me is, is bottlenecks. Number two um, is the Doom Raid. I think that's where where a lot of frustration came, and I think a lot of the problems with the game is around that three-letter word, fun. I think a lot of people have fallen out of love with the game, don't find it fun anymore. Um, whether that's the amount of time we're expected to play the game, whether that's the rewards we get for playing the game a lot, whether that's the interaction we get or the payout structures or anything like that, offers, things like that. The game just doesn't feel fun like it did six to 12 months ago. And, and you can release as many new characters as you want, but I don't think that's gonna bring the fun back for a lot of people. So if we touch on this raid really quickly, uh, we tried it in my alliance. Uh, I am the weakest person in my alliance, but we have people that are around 10, 11 million TCP. And the outcome wasn't great. The outcome was, I think, 7%. And we, we went as hard as we could. Um, now, if we go into here and we look at the reward structure, 30% is pretty much average for those big alliances that are doing it. If you get rank one every time, it takes you 10 raids to get one orb. That's just not acceptable. That's not acceptable to me. They came out last year about Ultima 7 saying that we've realized we've messed up the difficulty. We're correcting it. How have we got here again where the rewards don't match the difficulty requirements needed? This isn't something that my alliance is going to be able to do for a hell of a long time. I watched Reminex's live stream. The amount of reviving that he had to do, the amount of cores he had to use is insane for what you're getting here. There is physically no point in doing it because that gold, you know, that T14, T15 piece you get out of that orb, you could buy from the shop for 50,000 gold. Okay, you have to get it come up in the shop, but it's it's 50,000 gold against how many cores? That's my, that's my problem, you know. I'd much rather refresh the store with cores than I would calling my characters to try and get through this at the moment so the two solutions on this and i think that's really easy you either decrease the raid difficulty which i don't see them doing or you increase the the rewards i think these these rewards excluding the the arena credits or the uh, raid credits sorry 
the rest needs to go up massively. I think you, you probably need 30%. You need to be getting 800 to 1,000 towards the orb. You know, again, much like I said before with the bottleneck, it's not game-breaking to give somebody half an orb. It's not, it's not going to absolutely destroy the game. You know, when you think people like Hella use 90 of their minis, you know, 90 mini uniques and it takes 10 raids to get an orb, which might give you a chance of getting one. You know, this is the type of thing that takes a lot of the fun away from me personally. Um, next is around kind of character farming in general and store placements. I'll kind of merge them together. Um, store placements for me is, is crazy. Um, when I came back to this game after an eight month break, I had to farm Minerva out of here. Then I had to farm X-23 for Doc Ock. Then I had to farm Sinister. Now I'm having to farm Ghost. There's only three spots and I, there's so many characters in here now. We just need an overhaul of all of them. To be honest, it's not just war in my eyes. If you think how many minions are across Blitz and then you get them into Raid as well, you loosely, but they are an arena, but there's a lot more that you can get in arena. So I'm not so worried about the arena, but especially in war as well. Let's clear out some of those minions, clear them out, give them nodes, give them campaign nodes, uh, or, you know, that you can farm daily, make these easier to farm, but you still have to use the credits. No matter, Ghost could come up every single time in this shop. Not that many people have a massive surplus that would be able to buy her every single time she comes up, but it really does need an overhaul. I think if you look at farming or fountainable, however Scopely wants to call it, no Cull, no Yogo, no SSM, no Colson, no Beast. The list goes on and on and on. And some of those characters... I can't think, I think Yo-Yo came out when I had gone. So Yo-Yo may have been released for a year now and still is not obtainable outside of premium orbs. And I don't care what anybody says. I don't care how you sell it to me. RNG is not farmable. No matter how you look at it, no matter how you sugarcoat it, if, if there's an RNG and it's random when it shows up, it is not farmable. Farmable is on a node, at which you can still get zero, or in a shop. Even the characters in War Store are farmable because the likelihood of you getting a ghost in this shop is way more than if you get ghost or if you get, I don't know, let's say yo-yo out of that premium orb. So I think that there's a lot of work they can do. There's not a huge amount I can add to that. I just think we need to be speeding this up now. I absolutely agree upon release of some of these key characters, they should be left for the people that spend the money. That's okay, that's absolutely fine. But three months is long enough. Three months is long enough for the people that are spending the money to have bought the characters and have got the use out of them. Make them readily available. Add extra heroes and villains campaigns if you need more nodes. Add them, it's fine. None of us will ever argue if you add more. If you give us more opportunities to farm gear, farm characters, nobody is going to be to be arguing about that. And then I think the last thing that we'll touch on uh, today is just around the new teams. And I think that the, the way that the new teams are requiring so many t4s i think if you look at um shadowland and if you look at skill military and things like that the amount of t4s that are required for those characters are insane and i don't think that necessarily comes across upon release so i think it's it's great that we're getting new characters i think astonishing x-men from what i've seen from speaking to you guys um are going to be a phenomenal team but even i'm sat back waiting for people like rem and x for people that that can showcase them to me to show that it's worth the investment because at the moment i don't have any desire to be buying multiple multiple characters when i came back to the game i was buying them all i was buying the shield offer because it had yo-yo in it i was buying the x-men offer because it had cyclops in it i was buying um i think i spent a hundred dollars to get black bolt for, for his and and that's just so far away from from where i am at the moment so i'd be really keen to hear your thoughts as i say i wanted to try and give a few ideas of what i would do to increase some of those so bottlenecks number one raiding things like that so i i urge you guys to do the same please be respectful please be honest down in the comments below you know i'm not going to sit here telling you guys to do anything so i'm not going to sit here and say don't spend i'm not going to sit here and tell you to put one star reviews on app stores i'm not going to tell you to go to reddit and and, and and light a fire under them but what i think we need to do as a unit is really start giving some solutions not problems um because i see a lot of it in my stream and i'm going to be really honest with you guys i partake in it as well i i can sit there for hours moaning and moaning and moaning but at the end of the day if everybody moans and nobody has adds a solution 
that communication link is going to go. So let's try and use what we've got here as a community, as a voice, and let's try and get some solutions put into place. So I thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate this is a longer video than normal. Uh, if you enjoy this type of stuff, please do leave a like on the video. Please drop a subscription as well. As I said, the other two videos that are out by the time I launch this one are down in the description. Please go and watch those. And as I say, be respectful to everybody. Uh, I'll be back streaming again soon. Uh, thank you so much for, for your time today. Appreciate it. Keep on gaming, and I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much.